hope you all are well stay at home and happy with your family so let me start i'm uh, dr harshali and i'm teaching you uh, the remaining uh, syllabus of cyber law so today we start our uh, unit 3 that is uh, intellectual property give me as one second we'll share the ppt with all of you Yeah. Have you seen this PPT? Yeah. <clears throat> Have you seen everyone PPT? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So let me start <clears throat> intellectual property rights. Uh, you know the meaning of intellect what is intellectual property rights means you know the word of intellect come on just just speak up on okay don't be shy you are you are a student so let's give me an answer do you know the word of intellect hello see if you know, then you say, yes, ma'am. If you don't know, then say, no, ma'am. Come on. Do you know or not? Okay, no problem will tell you so intellectual means the word of intellect okay we see the word of intellect intellect means mental power okay our iq power so intellect 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 means mental power what it is so we have seen the intellectual property and rights Okay, basically, this diagram show that is uh, means what is intellectual property. So intellectual property means like that patent, copyright, industrial designs, uh, trademark, trade secrets, geographical indications, any kind of designs, whatever you make by yourself. Get it? So uh, we, we say like that intellectual means, intellect means the mental power how it is so intellectual property is legal field basically it's a legal field that refers to creation of mind such as a musical then uh, literary artistic works inventions any kind of inventions whatever are, whatever you are doing and symbols names images logo okay a lot of people create uh, logo then uh, designs used in uh, anywhere banner uh, designs used in commerce including copyrights trademarks patents and related rights okay so that means intellectual property rights so intellectual property rights, uh, the holder of uh, one of these abstract properties has a certain exclusive rights to the creative work, creative work, innovative work. Okay, uh, like commercial symbols or innovations by which 
it is covered okay so that is the intellectual property and a uh, lot of time like that any uh, on authorizations or any duplications we don't have a right to whatever if i am doing something a uh, new trademark or new uh, logo so no one can reproduce it no one can copy it okay so that is intellectual property or and whatever i have uh, create that is whole rights only i have no one can create or no one can reproduce it now so um, any unauthorized or a duplication publication or quotation from these power means any kind of slides any kind of banner any kind of design any kind of trademark any kind of industrial design geographical indications in part or in whole without the prior written consent okay if another if anyone wants to make a copy of uh, that logo or make a copy of any kind of design that means they have take a permission from me okay after that they reproduce or after that they copy the same design but without permission they don't do this now see if you don't understood then please uh, raise your hand and ask me the questions okay don't keep quiet now we have seen <clears throat> the actual intellectual property what is actual intellectual property that is it is a term referring to the number of distinct types of creation lot of creations okay uh, in our minds uh, for which property rights are recognized what it means any kind of creation like musical art um, book publications uh, any kind of creations so uh, whatever the comes in your mind that is the property rights are recognized means it's your own creation now intellectual property rights a right is uh, its own plants ideas or other intangible assets without the worry of competitions at least for a specific period of time a specific period of time if you to yeah yeah you have but reproduce it so what is the importance of intellectual property property rights okay importance of that is set your business apart from competitors of course we have an idea we have and we have, we are we are innovative people so lot of idea comes in our minds and before uh, set your business we just put it means set your business apart from competitors okay now be sold or license providing an important revenue stream yes after that you create you uh, make any copy or you just uh, prepare any kind of uh, art music so first you have to take a license before sold okay you have providing a revenue stream means that is your own okay so <clears throat> uh, just intellectual property is the intangible legally recognized right to property you know in the in the products of one's intellect because it comes from our mind so intellectual property rights allow the originator of certain ideas any kind of idea inventions okay and uh, expression uh, to exclude others from using those ideas or inventions and expressions without permission so the three traditionally recognized forms of intellectual property are copyright main trademark and patent okay these three is 
most important that is the copyright trademark and patent uh, <clears throat> actually of uh, offer customers something new and different okay every time we have seen the market okay if we see in the uh, musical market we we uh, hear the uh, different different kinds of music okay uh, even film industry have uh, different different kinds of movies they make but they take a right if you have seen uh, anywhere uh, when you are when you go to a movie or watch any kind of movie movie so first the uh, title of the movie and after that you have right read uh, read the some policy okay they have clearly mentioned that all characters are fictitious or imaginary based then who are these it means everything they have mentioned there movies or some uh, musical wherever you wherever you you have seen lot of things okay even books they have also written the copyright okay their numbers okay so that is Uh, we we need to offer uh, customer something new different and innovative so from an essential part, part of your marketing or your branding okay that is the logo or the name that means a brand name that means the branding of cop copyrights or intellectual property rights okay so always use a security for loans you whatever you create whatever you have to uh, do a security about it okay so protect your creation against infringement by others okay so you always protect from others that no one can copy or no one can reproduce the same things again so uh, stop using making spelling or importing importing it to without your permission okay and if if they produce reproduce that means they do illegal and they the punishment so <clears throat> intellectual property rights like a lot of time a uh, lot of types like copyrights and related rights so trademarks uh, layout designs and integrated circuits protections of undisclosed information okay patent is also so i have uh, told you know that is three to copyright trademark and patent okay do you understand what i am saying anyone have any problem hello no ma'am no okay anyone want to ask questions do you understand yes ma'am yeah okay see next this is a uh, major types of uh, ip and what happened uh, okay so major types of like that uh, first it is fictional and technical invention okay any kind of invention okay functional functional or uh, technically lot of uh, uh, inventions are available science inventions are there laboratory inventions are there uh, research is also comes in uh, this yeah so any kind of functional and technical inventions second it is purely artistic work purely like it, it comes in uh, literature uh, write uh, books poetry uh, then singing any kind of then a uh, symbols One second. A symbols, a uh, logo, uh, word, sounds, color, design, etc. Okay, so that comes in the major types of intellectual property. And if we talking about functional and technical invention, it comes a uh, Patents Act, nineteen seventy, and it's amended in nineteen ninety nine and two thousand five. Okay, new inventions. What uh, the act comes in. 
uh, and what is the right new policy it comes against patent it is on 1970 and uh, now it's uh, if, if you ask anyone questions like the patent act so you have till in 2005 because it's the latest now copyright act in 1957 comes in 1957 and amended 1982 1984 1992 1994 and 1999 okay so now it's going on to continue the copyright act now trademark trademark i act ended in 1994 2000 okay so that is the major types of uh, intellectual property <clears throat> now we have seen, seen some designs uh, what what is the industrial designs and what is uh, their uh, so industrial design is like any kind of design, shape, by shape, by aesthetic, by features, by configuration, surface, pattern of an article. Okay. So we have seen a lot of um, vehicle comes in the market, big vehicles, Maruti, Honda, Suzuki, Piaz, Swift, lot of. So every, see, uh, all vehicles are same. Okay. Do you like the all vehicles are same? Do you do you know everyone say something is new, na? Okay, something is some some kind of feature, some kind of functions are different, and that is whatever the difference, whatever the uh, unique identity is copyright, it patent. Okay, so uh, that is a front view. Sometimes front view is changed. Front view is uh, very nice. Okay. So that front view they copyright because every every uh, vehicles or every products have their own identity and that own identity we need to copyright we need to patent got it so sometimes uh, it's a front view sometimes it's a back uh, rear view oblique views right side oblique views top views bottom view any kind of view something is different and that difference and that innovative uh, ideas or whatever the designs you next now trademark okay so <clears throat> now here when uh, I'm, I'm talking uh, like that key. Like uh, <clears throat> ex excessive work, okay, copyright, copyright protects excessive work. That is uh, like uh, trade and trademark protects make, uh, protect like marks that are placed on goods to distinguish them from other work, okay, and patent protect inventions. Okay, just keep in your mind that keep copyright, whatever the copyright, it's a protect excessive work. Okay, literature work, then your any kind of work, writing work, uh, musical work, um, if, if uh, book work. Okay, so that is you have to take a copyright and trademarks, it's a protect marks that are placed on goods to distinguish them from other work okay any kind of other work it's related to trademark and patent protects inventions okay patents we have to use for inventions like research or some uh, search okay that is the inventions so trademark now we have seen trademark first we have seen copyright now we have seen trademark so trademark is a distinctive distinctive sign or uh, indicator used by an individual business organization or other legal entity to identify that the products or service to consumers with which the trademarks appears originate from a unique source okay something unique and to distinguish it from those of other entities okay and that is the design we have seen the trademark logo we have seen the logo okay and we know every company and every company by logo google have a logo amazon have a logo coca cola have a logo yahoo have a logo so youtube have a logo so lot of logos are 
here that is a trademark that is the identity of particular business if i'm asking you okay, what amazon amazon doing so you you know about uh, amazon so you tell me yeah, it's a that kind of work are doing service okay produce the service to customer you do google what are they doing so you know the trademark of that and and whole india know the companies because of that trademark because of their identity okay and here they mentions that key uh, a trademark is a distinct new sign or indicator used by an individual business organization or other legal entity to identify that products or service to consumer with which the trademark appears originate from a unique source okay so that is trademark tm tm means trademark next now we have seen the geographical indications what is geographical indication geographical indication is a name or sign used on certain product which corresponds to a specific geographical locations or origin is that town region or country okay so here are the examples like that uh, some <clears throat> some darjeeling teas okay means they have used the name of their city or country okay this one is see the kolhapuri chappal you know we have seen this is a basmati rice means you know what i'm saying so lot of countries or lot of cities are use their country name or their state name that is the brand of that particular country got it so this is the geograph that is called we have geographical indications got it hello yes ma'am yes ma'am now yeah you just let speak ha huh? okay when i am asking you so just give me some indications from your side <clears throat> now uh, copyright we have seen again copyright that exclusive and assignable legal rights are given to the originator for a fixed number of years to print publish perform film or record literary artistic or musical material okay we have seen any kind of logo we have to choose for <coughs> copyright okay window that is the copyright okay here we have seen and lot of if you have search in google or wherever so you you seen lot of copyrights but we have to uh, here any kind of print publish uh, film uh, artery artistic musical material any kind of we have to the copyright now patent <coughs> the examples we have seen the examples of patent uh, an exclusive right granted by a government to an inventor to prevent others from making terms of a what is it patent okay or using a new product or patents are territorial so that comes in patent means they have they uh, means they, they just stamp it that is patent no one can reproduce it no one can make a uh, copy of it okay so that is a novelty then inventive steps utility that is the patent okay means lot of people have take a patent of their work okay and they don't want to and they they, they clearly mention that no one can reproduce it without his or her permissions okay they don't have given a right so non inventions what are the non inventions work okay so non inventions work is like that pharma related because we, they have a lot of uh, medicines uh, making they have a lot of uh, innovations so any process for the medicinal 
surgical, curative, uh, prophylactic, or other treatment of human beings, any kind of. The mere discovery of a new forms of known substance, any kind of substance, or mere discovery new property or new use of known substance. Okay, then uh, any kind of substance, any kind of product obtained by a mere admixture, resulting only in the aggregation of the properties of components there for producing such substance, and that is a traditional knowledge okay so you have to know about the traditional knowledge about it others is like that any kind of claim anything contrary to natural law okay it, it's a depend on natural so it a method of agriculture or horticulture method of uh, playing games topography of integrated circuits a presentation of information okay how to present any kind of information a literary dramatic musical or artistic work a mathematical or business method or a computer programs are there so the mere discovery of a scientific principles or the formulation of an abstract theory what it any kind of abstract theories are there now what is the advantages of patent Okay, the advantages of patent is a patent gives you the right to stop others from copying. Got it? That is the main advantages. Like others, uh, stop others from copying, manufacturing, selling, or importing your inventions without your permissions. Okay, without your permission, they don't give an authority. You get protections for a predetermined period, allowing you to keep competitors at a bay. Okay, you can then use your innovations or inventions yourself. If you want, no, you have to give a right. Then you have. If you don't, you don't. Okay. So alternatively, you can li license your patent or for others to use it or sell it as with any assets, uh, any machinery, any any kind of. So this can provide an important source of revenue for your business. Indeed, some business exists solely to collect. The royalties patent I have license perhaps in combinations with a registered design and trademark any kind of trademark we have seen okay so that is the advantages of patent now <clears throat> we have <clears throat> seen some. Yes, so so that is uh, we have seen the uh, advantages of uh, patent. Now we have seen some uh, trademarks. Actually, trademark is uh, mark that can be placed on goods to distinguish. We have we have seen then uh, from uh, other goods. Okay, the uh, term trademark is often used to refer to use the legal design governing the protect protecting some marks. It's a general and. Such marks are sometimes referred to as a trademark. Any kind of trademark we have seen already. Some agreements provides that initial registration and each renewal of registration shall be from terms of no less than seven years. Okay, the limit of trademark is less than seven years, and the registration shall be renewable and in identically sometimes. So, have you want to ask questions? Anyone want? Anyone? Hello, are you comfortable with me or not? If you want to ask, let's ask. No, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, one second. We have seen. The next is we have seen domain name. Okay, another slides we share with you.
Okay. Have you seen this PPT? Domain names and trademark. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So next, it is that domain names and trademark. This, this, how it comes and what is, what it is. We have seen. So any kind of advancement or any kind of new technology, person wants to access cyber world. Okay, we learn cyber laws. So it comes in cyber. Uh, it comes in cyber laws. That is domain name and trademark and uh, intellectual property rights, everything. So that is uh, the any kind of new technology, new ideas, new innovations. Person wants to access their cyber world. Okay, so the two negative thoughts. This was global collection of inter. Connected computer network. Okay, uh, that is the domain name system was invented. Got it. So domain names are now highly visible in real space as well, showing up a television commercials, billboards, magazine ads, and even the side of buses. We have seen the domain name. Okay, lot of time we have seen that names wherever here are showing that televisions, commercials, billboards, and magazine ads, and even the side of buses that is showing the domain name. What is domain name? Domain name is primarily used to identify one computer from the millions of other connected to the internet, enabling users. To send email, to access web page, to transfer files. Okay, so that is the use of domain name. Got it? Again, I repeat that primary, primarily used to identify one computer from the millions of others connected to internet, enabling users. To send email, to access web page, or to transfer files. So no two people can have the same telephone numbers, and no two organizations can have the same domain name. Okay, the everyone is every domain name is different. So an IP address. Consists of multiple levels identified both IP address consists of multiple levels identified by both numbers and names, and the number consists of four parts separated by periods means dots. We have seen see the examples we mention here. Give me a one second only. We'll share it again. See, uh, here, here are mentioned, for example, that 173.0.133.225, okay? So, it's the number consists four parts, okay? 173.1 part, 0.2 part, 133.3 part and 225. So, it's just keep in your mind key. Always IP address numbers consist four parts. Okay, and uh, we have seen here domain name www dot whatever we have any kind of mail we have starting that's four characters there. Okay, www dot dot whatever the name dot gmail dot com or yahoo dot com or 
any kind of r name we have created so that is and it's called string number okay it is called string number now levels of domain name what is the levels of domain name a domain name can be categorically divided into two levels always it's a two levels top level domains divided into two letter country codes according to the iso 3166 it's a standard it's a standard such as uh, in dot in for india dot ar for argentica dot fr for france got it so that is the standard okay so two letters country codes first they have taken two letters a country code that is according to iso 3166 it's a legal and such as dot in for india dot ar for argentica and fr for france etc so as of october 2009 there are 21 generic top level domains how many it is 21 generic top level domains and 250 two letters country code top level domains how many it is 250 got it so three letters generic top level domains like that of which importance are like dot com dot organizations means or org dot net dot edu dot gov dot mil dot int okay we have seen that all that is the three generic top level domains for example we have seen before slides like www spm law dot symbiosis law whatever dot ac dot in got it so that is the domain name do you understand anyone wants to ask questions yes please yeah rajesh kumar karan and ankita would you like to ask any questions regarding no ma'am not yet no ma'am let me continue yes ma'am yeah so next it is second level of domains okay so second level of domain like that under uh, g limited second level means government limited we have seen so second level domains are chosen by the applicants below the top level domains in the domain name hierarchy are the second level domains okay means names so these are the names directly to the left of uh, .com .net and other top level domains for example only dot sym law dot ac dot matrix dot ac dot uh, any kind of amazon dot ac so they have used their own name so that is top level domain now uh, second level domain is more essential for our part it's a second level because we have known about that okay if if we we only uh, someone ask me you give me some web, website address or give me uh, your uh, mail id so how you uh, told them or how how you tell them like that abc dot xyz at the rate gmail dot com okay you tell them whole you don't tell that abc my mail id is abc or my mail id is xyz or my whatever you don't tell you told you tell everything very well and full so that is the second level domain is more essential for our part of the discussions because the domain disputes arise here only okay here domain disputes arise only so internet network information center maintains and administered the central database of all internet domain names okay that this is the main and important that is any uh, means internet network information uh, the centers are there wherever so they have 
maintain and administer the central database of all internet domain names they have a data so uh, first comes first sub basis are there first come and first sub basis inter uh, nic granted network solution and uh, means in inc we have seen lot of time inc that is the network solution and nsi the exclusive authority to register domains names in the uh, like dot com dot net dot org okay so that is so on behalf of the us department of commerce okay it comes from us department of commerce now in november 1998 internet corporation for assign names and numbers okay ICA and N means internet corporations for assign names and numbers was formed to assume responsibility for the ip address allocation protocol parameter assignments domain name system management and root server system management functions and it is located in california where it is located it is located in california and the restrictions for registrations there is some restrictions for registrations this is the statistics uh, for a domain registered names all over the world okay it's uh, some and how how uh, domain names are active only active that dot com okay dot com then uh, it's second is dot net okay dot org dot info dot biz dot us and the total okay so that time means it's it's only active means dot com active like this dot net active how many users are active that is this is the statistic now we have seen domain name versus trademark how the dispute comes okay so first we have seen what is domain name versus trademark a trademark is used to distinguish the goods and service okay we have seen the definition what is trademark so we have seen that trademark is used to distinguish the goods and services of one trader and it lets the general public associate the marks with any identity it is defined as a source identifier okay it is defined as a source identifier that is trademark in a similar manner with increase of commercial activities on the internet the domain name is also used as a business identifier got it now in the landmark case of rediff communication limited versus cyber booth okay so the case number is air all india report 2000 bom 27 that is the case the court held that domain name is the symbol that helps to ascertain the affiliation or association with its owner what it show it's an association with its owner okay and that is the domain name disputes comes okay that is the cases okay if you have seen in 1999 there is no means very zero zero kind of cases are here okay we have seen but in 2000 we have seen 4000 cases are there 2000 in 4000 cases are there 2001 it, it's come low cases we have seen 2002 it's come also low means 2003 we have seen very short cases 2004 just little increase 2005 increase 2006 increase 7 increase 10 increase and in, if we have seen in 2009 it's a highest in 2009 it's a 5000 cases are there and 2010 it's 4500 cases okay so that is the domain names disputes lot of people use so that is the dispute comes domain name versus trademark so types of domain names of disputes so there are four types of domain names disputes like cyber squatting 
we have seen lot of people are doing then profit grabbing misspelling and identical domain name and concurrent claims okay the diagram have seen that com b is net edu or org okay lot of so that is the types of domain names and disputes so what is cyber squatting so we have let's seen by sequentially so first we have seen cyber squatting what it is cyber squatting refer to the practice of domain names so reflecting the names of existing companies with an intention to sell the name back to business for profit when they want to set up their websites okay it's refer to practice of domain names okay so actually cyber law is a very easy subject okay you have to just uh, hear and focus with concentrations okay so that is the domain domain name reflecting the names of existing companies with an intention to sell the names back to business for a profit when they want to set up their website in usa if you're talking about in usa doctrine of delusion anti cyber squatting consumer protection act okay that is the two websites in india if we're talking about india in india cyber squatting has not has not been brought within the purview of the it act okay we have a information technology act so in case of judicial challenge in indian courts concerning infringement of trademark by use of domain names okay in india that is uh, brought within the purview of it act we have mentioned and case judicial changes in indian courts concerning infringement of trademark so no one can use it without the permission and no one can reproduce it without the permissions got it now uh, the case we have seen the bisleri case okay uh, in an indian cyber squatting case also popularly known as the bisleri case aqua mineral, uh, mineral limited versus pramod bos in 2001 what he did <clears throat> second case you you have to see it okay second case one uh, arun jetli versus network solution private limited and ors 181 2000 that is the domain names and decided on 4 1 before delhi high court okay so that we have we have mentioned the uh, sites if you want to see in detail you just open the website and read it what happened actually okay so actually i am telling you but i am telling you that means you get easily but i i am just want to know that ki you just take efforts you just go to site and read case carefully and then tell me what happened actually okay yeah so uh, next it is a profit grabbing what it is profit grabbing profit grabbing is like that it's a uh, kind of domain dispute the defendant indulge in the registration of a domain name similar to the others same or confusingly similar trademark or trade names okay they have a lot of trade names lot of trademarks in order to gain profit out of such business okay lot of companies have used i don't know i, I never heard but uh, it's uh, it's happening they have used the other company's name for grabbing profit uh, and the company name is like satyam infobe limited versus safenet solution private limited that is the case we have given some websites name so you have seen and you have read what happened actually okay everyone know satyam case about so what is misspelling and identical domain names 
what is misspelling and identical domain names with the increase in business opportunities on internet many people trying to register domain names a lot of people which appear to be similar to that you know, already registered domain names first they have registered their domain names and it leads to confusion and misrepresentation in the minds of the general public with regard to owners of such domain names hmm? they have to the they are is owner of such domain names that is important like yahoo uh, inc versus akash arora the case is there to be considered as first domain case in india decided by supreme court okay uh, you have seen <clears throat> the case you just put in google that yahoo uh, versus akash arora the case comes in front of you and you read it what happened actually next it is redif communication limited versus cyber booth and the case is air 2000 bm 27 www.redif.com and www.radif.com see both are different r e d i f f and r a d i f f okay case has been created info each india private limited versus shailesh gupta 2002 and it's www.nokri.com n a u k r i .com and n a u k a r i .com okay read carefully what i'm saying and listen carefully so that is the cases okay let's uh, copy it let's take a notes of that all what i am telling you and you just search it and read it and tell me what happened exactly now concurrent claims concurrent claims arise uh, some legitimate parties are involved in a dispute over domain names which uh, where each party claims that they are the true and legitimate owners of acquired domain names without any intention to pass off without any intention to pass off so the case of nissan motors company limited versus nissan computer means n i s s a n ani n n i s s a n computer corporations okay you just find out it remedies for the domain name what is the remedies oh uh, have you uh, another class shall we create or shall we continue hello let me tell about yeah ankita richa shall we continue or have you an another class 8 to 9 hello am i audible yes ma'am yeah uh, shall we continue or what you have a you have a class 8 to 9 no ma'am oh sorry ma'am okay so let's 10 minutes we just finish it and then we'll so that is the remedies for the domain names of dis disputes and that is urdp means uniform domain name dispute resolution policy okay it's a policy adopted by icaan that provides a mechanism for trademark owners to obtain domain names from cyber squatters they have a policy and they find out some squatters so the first dispute under ICAAN policy was decided on January 14, 2000, and has been published by WIPO, which provide the single panelist World Wrestling Federation Entertainment (INC) versus Michael Boson. That is the case name, and you have to find it and search it. Okay.
okay. so uh, today we have seen the intellectual property what is intellectual property and uh, second one is a domain name disputes i hope you understand if you want to ask any questions then let me ask please hello would you like to ask any questions so uh, your your uh, homework is like that ki whatever the cases we have seen i hope you note down it all have you noted or not you just note down it i hope you all noted okay i'll share you again just note down it and find out the all cases read it the cases okay one second we'll share it again See. See, first case it Bislery case. Okay. Bislery case. Just note down in your copy and find out it and read it and tomorrow we'll. discuss it okay second case is arun jetli cases that is you just take a screenshots or whatever you want if you have a copy and pen then you note down it okay next one is uh, profit grabbing cases you just search from satyam info limited versus safnet solutions private limited okay uh, someone uh, no one means you you all people are there so everyone has just shown single single cases no one all uh, find all okay so it is easy for you second third one is yahoo akshara uh, sorry akash arora case okay it's a first domain case so you know about it what happened actually you read it and if you don't understand then let me discuss again okay no issue but just you have take efforts to read it next it is uh, redif communication versus cyber group case or uh, info is india private limited uh, versus shailesh gupta case uh, concurrent claims nishan motors company limited versus nishan computer Com corporations quick we just noted down and last it is world wrestling federation entertainment inc dot versus michael bosno just read it the case okay fine yeah fine you note down all yes ma'am yes ma'am thank you so tomorrow first uh, we discuss the cases what you have read and what you have seen and after that we'll uh, begin our new chapters okay so have a good day take care bye bye and if you want to ask questions and if you want any uh, doubt let me ask don't keep quiet no ma'am thank you yeah, okay thank you have a good day